Hey guys, my name is Rexy and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Uh, we're now here and we're gonna do this next mission. Uh, that's the TNT charged one, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. This engine room is locked out tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, where is our initial barrel? Ah, it's right, right down here. Cool. So, oh. There's someone, like, literally right around the corner. That's some unfortunate timing. Okay, but that's fine. We can now sneak past him. Oh, no, he, he heard me, even though we were sneaking. Of course. Of course. So, instead, I'm just gonna kill his ass before I do anything and not have to deal with him right no you see he's not even active right now can I get in yeah see right, right now he's not even there so I don't know what the issue was last time around I guess I just got unlucky or something oh well let's uh, follow this guy around oh he's gonna turn around isn't he Oh, he was thinking about it. Just wait a moment. And then we can keep going. Uh, yeah, we just want to be safe rather than die. That That's really the best way to go about this. If you take your time, you should definitely be fine. And uh, here we go. We can get our first little charge right here. And then uh, move on. The other two are quite far away. Um... I think I'll go for that one first. I'm not sure what the best order is. Maybe that one first. That one seems a little bit closer. Although I'm not quite sure how we're going to get on that higher ground. Uh, since we can't really jump. So that might be tricky. I'm, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. We'll figure it out. I've done this before. It's just been a while already. Um, maybe I'll go for the other one first. It, it seems a bit simpler. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go for the other one first. And then uh, once we've done that one, we'll see how to go about the last one. Um, I guess we could drop down here. But, eh, why not? May as well. Oh, no, this guy, he's gonna walk past me, hopefully. Come on, don't make me wait too long, guy. Huh, what's this barrel of TNT doing here? Oh, well, probably nothing. I'll just uh, keep going on my merry way. Her, der, der. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna keep looking at him like 17 times. Yeah, th thanks for wasting my time, friend. Thanks so much. Oh, well. It's no big deal. Let's just uh, get our next TNT charge and then walk all the way across the map again because yeah unfortunately they couldn't really keep them close together could they? No they could not. Um, okay well this might take a while and if it does take super long and is super boring I might even cut it out for you guys because I'm just that nice but for now I'll keep it in I think unless because because who knows maybe something cool will happen I I doubt it but it's possible no probably not you know what I'll just see you guys when I'm a lot closer to that
Okay, that was awful. Sometimes the guards would literally just shoot you for no reason at all. Like, you would stand still like this, not move, and just because you would be in their path or something, they would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just shoot you now. Like, like this. But then, instead of walking onward, they would then shoot you. Like, the, like, how? Like, I'm not moving. What do you expect me to do? I can't move anymore at this point, because if I move, they will shoot me. Really, they should have programmed it so that if you are sitting still in a barrel and you block the path of a guard, after a while, they'll just walk around. Just punish you by waiting a little bit extra. Don't punish you by making you fail the job. That's just bad game design, in my opinion. Alright, now let's actually make our way over to the point we need to blow up, which is all the way over there. I'm not entirely sure how we walk over there i guess we can follow this path hopefully that's right although getting across this might be a little bit awful we don't have the safeguard of uh, the railing because we can't jump out of the barrel this time so we'll just have to make it fast enough okay good we did it now let's just not get caught by this guard Or that guard. Please, please. I'm not even close to you. If he's, if one of them is gonna attack me, I, I'm gonna lose it. Okay. See, he's, he can easily walk past me, so he should keep moving now. He really should keep moving, but he's gonna stand here for an hour. Okay. Th thank you. Now we can keep moving on and get on top of here and blow up this engine room. Oh, this, this mission, this mission was not a fun one to do. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. So that leaves one more mission, so I'm gonna go back to the safe house and switch over to Bentley. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. And I'm sure he will be, but first, of course, we gotta do some hacking. And this is... A similar mission to the two from the previous episode where first of all yeah Bentley has to hack three computers not five luckily that would be a little bit overboard and then Murray is gonna go inside and um, take care of the rest now one cool thing is that your bullets can actually bounce here so that will definitely help you out uh, quite a bit I'm not sure if that was actually possible before I don't recall it being possible but it might have been but yeah here if you're just patient you can really quite easily uh, take out most of the enemies without um, without you know getting damaged at all because you can just bounce bullets and a lot of them are stationary tanks so they won't really be able to move to try and attack you so that that does make it quite a bit easier honestly if we can hit him there we go. We're kind of hitting him. Some some things are hitting him. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, that, that does make it quite a bit easier, this mission, than a lot of the other hack missions. So I don't get why they did this so late. Because, really, you can just not get hit at all. I They never got into an opportunity, because their bullets won't bounce. So Yeah, quite an easy hack mission if you just take your time. That's the first one down. Uh, let's see, where's the next one? Oh, quite a ways out. Um, do we want to be up somewhere? Yes, we do. We do want to be up somewhere, so let's uh, jump up here. And yeah, yeah, we need to be all the way over there. Uh, don't I have a running ability? Size so stabilizer, temporal lock, I don't really need that. Uh, yeah, R2, okay. It it's kind of running. It works close enough to running. Okay, 
We just need to wait for it to turn slightly more. Because we really can't get past this now as it stands. Come on, thing. Close enough? Close enough? Now now it's close enough. Huh. Okay. Well, that took a bit, but we're here. Time to hack the next one. And yeah, this one is going to be a little bit harder. But again, you know, you can pretty much just uh, take out all of the enemies. Except this time, uh, you will also have a couple of enemies coming from the back that will be able to hurt you. And I'm taking a lot of damage because of that, as you can see. Because I'm doing poorly. But there we go, we have our first one uh, available. Uh, so that's one down. Uh, that means there should be two more. Yeah, one on this side here. Um, let's just shoot inside of here and make sure we dodge those. Come on, I am doing so poorly. Oh well, whatever. I'll, do, I'll just take the hits, I guess. It, it's fine. It's, it's really fine. Can I lock in? Okay, there we go. Oh, oops, I didn't even look at that. Okay, and now we just need to shoot some bullets, some pellets, I guess they're called. I, I don't really know the name of any of these things in this hack game. I'm not even sure if they have names, but yeah, a few more, and there we go. See, it was fine that you took damage, because really, aside from that, nothing can hurt you anyway. Um, alright, all the way over there. Oh, oops, I did not think about a guard maybe being there. Luckily, oh, I fell all the way down. Oh, well, I, I survived that somehow. And I'm still alive. So I'll take it. Okay, where, where did I need to go? I kind of lost track completely. Oh, I need to be up here. Can Bentley climb ladders? Really, he can't? Come on, I, I get that most climbing things aren't accessible to Bentley and uh, Murray. And that, that makes sense, you know? That makes sense. It should be a power for Sly to climb. You know, of course of course, that's going to be um, his power. But really, he should be able to... Um, to at the very least uh, climb a ladder like that, that that's a regular ladder anyone can climb a ladder like th that that's not a special sly ability in my opinion or it shouldn't have been um, right then we have to go up here no no can I hit it okay there we go I thought I had to go up here Not, 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 not the case, apparently. Um. Oh, I need to be up, up there. Okay. See, that's why I wanted to climb the ladder. Um, so how do we get there? From there, which we can reach through there. Okay. So, we're gonna, um, I'm not sure if I can hover across that gap. So, I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna play it safe here and go like this just like make you fall asleep how did that go through him can i stop having like bombs go through enemies yeah just then thing oh no he he spotted me now that was a bad call on my part oh well let's just run away from him quickly and make our way to the next computer because we wasted so much time already so much time wasted okay so i don't get this first part at all because it it's literally there to waste time there's no enemies there's no way you're gonna get hurt here absolutely no way and you need to spend that time you know just shooting those pallets like they could have taken those pallets out and this mission wouldn't have been any any harder or any easier I mean like it it, it, it literally is it, it it's the most literal time waster you can have okay let's move up a bit shoot all of these guards 
And... There we go. Move up again. Ready. You know what? I'm just gonna take the hits at this point. Because it should be fine. There we go. That's all that done. Make way for the Murray. I like how Bentley calls him the Murray too. So, oh, oops, I meant to grab that, not not punch that. Uh, but yeah, we oh we, right, we need to button mash here to lift these things up. So yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Also, guards are gonna come spawn in any moment now, so we'll need to watch out for that too. Um, I don't want to grab those things though. Okay, there we go. And yeah, every now and then, pretty much after every thing you lift, there's probably gonna be some guards that spawned in that you need to take care of, or maybe after every two if you button mash fast enough, or you can just get interrupted in the middle of your button mashing um, if they are still alive so that's why you want to try and take them out before but that's okay you know you can take some hits plus they generally tend to give you health for beating them so that will allow you to take some more hits again also you can see of course by your icon when new ones have spawned in so use that to your advantage if you want to try and take as few hits as possible but it doesn't really matter if you take some hits here and there as long as you get them all lifted up that's really the most important thing and there we go that should be the last of them and now just go to the second level I guess because I, I don't even care about these guys I'm not sure if he's even gonna follow me um, right and then we need to belly flop onto all of these things and drop them back down and I'm gonna totally ignore these robots because they're not fast enough to really do anything they don't shoot you at from a distance either so they really pose no real threat to me also now let's uh, pull the switch and finish off this job too Good, and that one bites the dust as well, indeed. Well said, Sly, well said. In an unexpected windfall, I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. Yep, I do know the story indeed. That that will definitely be bad. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more gadgets we can buy. And really, that's the last thing that we're going to do. We're going to do the operation to take down Clock Lab. But we'll save that for next time. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then do consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you're down there, leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you next time for the finale of Sly 2 Band of Thieves.